And bam, welcome back to Nano Talk, guys. Today's a bit of a more serious note because once again, the NFL has decided to screw over the Miami Dolphins. Roger Goodell flipped us the bird and took away our 2023 first round pick, our 2024 third round pick, because apparently Stephen Ross is an idiot and he's getting fined $1.5 million deservedly because this guy's an idiot and apparently tampered and has been communicating with Tom Brady in 2019, 2020, and 2021. What an idiot. And then also apparently reached out to Sean Payton's agent, not directly to Sean Payton, but with the intent of bringing Sean Payton over to coach for the Dolphins. Once again, the Dolphins have shown that they have disrespected Tua Man and Mike McDaniel. Roger Goodell flipped us the bird, took away our picks. Now I'm flipping you the flipper back, bro, because screw Goodell, screw the NFL. I'm mad that we lost our picks. Yes, I am mad that this is going to put a little damper on our future plans of snagging some elite players, you know, or maybe even a contingency plan for two a man, you know. But what I'm not going to do is let the NFL and Goodell pop my bubble, ruin my moment, ruin my positivity, and steal my vibe. Yes, be mad, but let it use us as fuel. I let it be the chip on our shoulder because I know and I hope that our players will do the same. I hope that they're going to use this robbery, this thievery of our draft picks as fuel to inspire us to make sure that that first round pick is as close to a, the 32nd pick as possible. So to get us to go to a deep playoff run and make sure that, that first round pick is at very a very, very late first rounder that it means nothing to us because we are in a win now moment. We are here, F them picks as we already knew, you know. We're here to win. We're here being that big moment. To a man, this is your moment. Cortez burned down the ships and he conquered Mexico. To him, there is no backup plan right now. You are the guy. You are the man. I've believed. I've had the faith. And it's time now for the rest of the fan base to have the faith. It's time for the freaking ownership to have the faith. Stephen Ross, you pay your $1.5 million. You get to spend it to October 17th. And think about what you've done. And watch as Tua grows and shines and stars and develops and thrives with this team. And uses this adversity as fuel. As Mike McDaniel goes, you wanted Sean Payton because you wanted some offensive guru? Well, look at me. Mikey Magic Mike. Ready to bring you the offensive thunder. The magic. The creativity that is McDaniel that we have been seeing in training camp as this offense looks to be gelling and clicking as Tua seems to be leading the charge ready to shoulder that responsibility to take that weight and then just thrive and carry this team to greatness I am ready for Tua Tagovailoa I am ready for this offense to ball out I am ready for Mike McDaniel and the Dolphins to show the NFL and to show their very owners and their very own people in their building that this Dolphin team is legit that we are ready to rock that this team is ready to roll and we are ready to bring the thunder. We have the lightning with one of the fastest offenses in the NFL ready with Tyreek Hill, Jalen Waddell, and Raheem Moster. Tua Tungvaloa is going to unlock that offense to its potential thanks to Mike McDaniel putting all of our players in a great position to succeed. I am still positive. Yes, I am mad. You can be both positive and still mad. Use it as fuel. Use it as energy to carry and keep going and have your chin up high and ready to rock and know that we are going to flip the flipper to the grand NFL and let them know that the Dolphins are unfazed, we are unshaken, that we are ready to shine in this moment and show the entire 31 teams in the NFL and that idiot, Roger Goodell, that the Dolphins mean business and we're still ready to shine. Join me in that positivity. Join me in the push forward and supporting our Dolphins and supporting that grind. Now is not the time for this unity to fall apart. Yes, I know we're all mad about the, about, the, about the lost picks. Yes, I know we're all mad about how the shakedowns in comparison to the Watson suspension. Yes, I know we're mad that there seems to be disorder in the Dolphins organization once again. But push that all aside. Focus on our players grinding. Focus on the positive that has been building this past offseason. The future is now. It's here. Let's seize it and let's go. Thank you for joining me. Thanks for tuning in to Nando Talk. I'll be breaking down the little next practice that we saw today. Day two of the open fan practice in a separate video. But for right now, chin up. Let's perk up and let's enjoy. Thanks for tuning in to Nando Talk. Bada beam, bada boom. Until next time.